Angry. Angry. Listen, for, for a manager to come out and say that his team aren't competing, he's got to be in a... The state of mind there is pure anger and he's going to want to find answers for that, from them team, from individuals, definitely. And he's going to be pressurising these players, I'm sure, through this next couple of weeks because two games come out of this period that we've been in of lockdown and you expect your team to come out minimum fighting, showing that character, showing that drive, that determination to go and get a result. And he's, it's a team that have come out almost, they look flatlined. They haven't been able to get that, get themselves going. They haven't been able to get themselves into a game even. And today, I mean, the, the way that the, the, second, the second goal that Brighton scored was a fantastic goal, but you, you would expect, as he said, his team to be able to compete and maybe put himself in the way to stop these shots going in. There are probably bigger long-term issues to be sorted out at Arsenal, Peter, but in the short term, he needs to win some football matches and get them up the table before the end of the season. What does he need to do on the field in the short term to sort things out? He did. I thought that was a fantastic interview. Um, I thought, you know, he could quite easily, we've seen managers previously um, make excuses for, for their teams and, uh, and perhaps do it behind closed doors. But he's come out, he's spoken really open, honestly, there, saying that they're not competing. That's, that's not the God's honest truth. I, I mentioned, obviously, the, the short corner. I mean, you learn that in the youth team. Um, so, yeah, I think, you know, he's got, he's got a lot of things that need to be addressed. Yeah, sorry, we're struggling to hear you. I, I don't know what you've done there, but you sound like Darth Vader all of a sudden, Peter. <laughs> It was top-class analysis as well. It was top-class <laughs> analysis. It was top-class analysis. <laughs> right, so Peter, I think, was talking about issues on the football field. What about off it? Because you've got high-earning players who aren't involved. You've got young players who look like they're running their contract down. You've got a fan base that doesn't understand what the long-term plan is at this football club. I think there's a massive reshuffling of the pack. I think he, we knew that before he got there. I think he'll be even more aware now, given the performances of some individuals. And I think... The, the, the bigger, I think, surprise for him from reading between the lines is the application around a training field is then going to be replicated out on the pitch and he's not seeing what he wants to see. And I think there's going to be big changes there. If he's given a, a checkbook to open a little bit then to be able to splash some cash but also get some players out. Big players on big money that aren't suited to what he wants yeah. and what his desires are for this football club, he's going to have to move people. But I think Graham Potter needs credit. Some positive substitutions, got his team... Character was shown in his team, desire and a great result.